right, we're going to do an acoustical experiment. Oh, let's see. I mean, my wife's been trying to get me to change this flooring for years, and I never did just because I knew I was thrashing it so much by rolling all the chairs around that I didn't want to mess with it. But now that I've read on the internet that almost all recording studios have hardwood floors of some sort and concrete being the best, which I'm not so sure about that, but I'm going to rip this carpet up. You can see where I had the pad where it's semi-new, but I mean this stuff should have been taken out years and years ago and I've just been too lazy. So the next thing I'm going to do is cut it out. We're going to start with a concrete floor and if that doesn't sound good, with all my base traps and foam on the wall, those are base traps uh, designed by Orlex. Even have some on the ceiling here. Uh, base trap in every corner. It's supposed to sound better. I don't know. I think it's going to be kind of echoey, but that's the experiment. If it is, I can put a throw rug in here and probably tame it down again, and it'll look a lot better. Now here it is, the first strip up. It's not going to be the prettiest floor in the world, considering doing some kind of concrete treatment, but... And I'll tell you what, the backing on that old carpet just completely separated. It was junk. Let's hope it doesn't get too echoey. I forgot what a pain it was to take those tack strips out. You know, they're nailed into the concrete. So it's going to take me a little bit longer than I thought. But I'm getting there. I just have that one strip over there. But the hard part is getting these wooden strips out of the concrete. Pretty appropriate song, Peter Gabriel. Rain, red rain? I thought you said rain, rain coming down. I'm dealing a little bit with uh, Hurricane Harvey. Thank goodness, not like Houston and Beaumont, but we've had it before with Katrina. I know what it's like. It sucks big time. But I'm liking the way the room sounds. Uh, they said uh, when you Google you know flooring for studios that carpet actually acts like a low pass filter which means that it uh, lets the cuts out the high frequencies lets the low frequencies go through so it's sounding good and I'm just testing the room a little bit right here I can only play it for a second. See if we can get it at the beginning. Two subs. Red rain. Red rain. Here we go. sounding pretty cool. It's funny what you find behind there. What I found? Guitar World December 1989. You see that? Eric Clapton. He looked young. Pretty cool. Alright. I'm getting there. What a mess, huh?
God, what a good album this was. All right. Look at that. Got it done. A, uh, I just wanted to let you guys know. If you think vinyl is dead, don't believe them. We were screwed when they changed everything to CDs. I've been listening to these old albums. There's us. I mean, so. Uh, and they sound so much better. I mean, you guys need to get a turntable. I'm going to show you about 20 seconds what I'm talking about. But the room sounds great. I've got uh, a little hooking up to do. Got the cords, but uh, I mean, it actually feels bigger, and I have a feeling it's going to sound bigger, but it's still dead in here because of all the foam. So I think it was a successful operation, but I'll check it out right now. I just got to bring my guitars back in here, and that's it. It's looking good. There's the old 60. Wait, no crank. Here we go. Ready? This is what you want. I'm just going to leave you with this little sound test right now. Because uh, it's going to take me a while to get my guitars hooked up, but the next video I make is going to be in this little bit livelier room. Put the drapes back down. I think it was a success. It's not the prettiest thing. I'm going to call it some kind of Pollock artistry on my floor here. <laughs> Talk to you later.